Hi everybody. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon. We've been so cold lately in late spring. I just want to show you another way that I'm going to plant zucchini. Here's a large flower pot. This is the same type of pot you would go to the nursery and you would buy a tree or a large bush. I don't know if they call these five gallon pots or what number they call them, but see the holes on the bottom? I'm not going to do anything. Let's see. This is this was from an apple tree that Gary had bought. Okay. So what I'm doing with this is I filled it with just some wood chips and broken down leaves, you know, matter from the yard. And I've dug this hole out. Now, I have wood chips on the ground here and they have broken down into this beautiful rich dark soil. You should be able to see that here. I know it's very sunny. Very, very black. But if you go further down, see if I can get down there, you'll see the original soil. See, it's gray clay. So I've kind of hit the clay and I'm going to leave it like this because I only have, I don't know how many inches I have in my yard of wood chips. So I'm going to dig it out about three inches and I hope you can see it because I'm, be honest with you, the sun is really glaring at me. And I'm going to set this pot a few inches in the ground and what this is going to do is I am going to plant a squash in there, a zucchini probably. I'm going to push the wood chips back against the pot. So when the roots of whatever is growing in there, it could be a tomato plant, it could be a kale, it could be flowers, it could be anything you want. When it hits the soil, because it will be soil underneath where the holes are, it's not going to die. It's actually going to send the roots into the ground and continue to grow. We even got a full-size carrot wood tree in our yard that was in a pot smaller than that that set, sent its roots out and I think it's a 20-foot tree now. So plants will leave as long as the roots stay damp. If they hit air, that's called air pruning and the roots will just stop. They'll dry up. They won't go anywhere. But with this, when I water the zucchini in the pot, the roots are going to go out, they're going to go into the ground, and it's going to have a massive root system while it grows. I also am going to put on the top here, compost. Well, I shouldn't say compost, it's chicken scraps. It's not compost yet. Whoops, sorry. And this has got, as you can see, potato skins. Let me move my shovel, sorry. It's got potato skins. It's got bits and pieces of jackfruit in there and it's got all kinds of greens and kale and onion skins, coffee grinds, eggshells, whatever. Everything is in there. Now I'm going to top it with some of the native soil I've got here, which is now, well it's not native soil, it's now the broken down wood chips. I understand a lot of you don't have the wood chips and that's fine. You can use potting mix for this. It would be the same thing. You can go to the store and get potting mix. And if you're putting in your own kitchen scraps and scraps from the garden, you won't have to buy anything too expensive. Organic is always good, but you know, just don't buy anything too expensive because all that that I just dumped in there, the, uh, the kitchen scraps, that's gonna turn into a fine, beautiful soil. The earthworms are gonna come from the soil underneath through the bottom of the pot and it's gonna go in there, it's gonna start feeding. And as it's feeding, in this pot, it's going to create its own worm farm and the squash or whatever I plant in there is just going to love it. I don't have to do anything else. I don't even need to feed this plant. All I have to do is make sure now that I water. So I'm probably going to put squash seeds in here and I'll do an update later on. But right now I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Any place in your yard. And as far as these pots, these are bigger pots. You can go to any one of your nursery, nurseries in your neighborhood. You could even go to Home Depot or Lowell's or whatever. Smile a lot. Tell them how much you love their store. And ask if you can have a few of the pots that they're going to throw away. Every store is different. Some will give them to you because they toss them. Some will tell you they're sending them back or whatever. I've seen them put them in dumpsters in the back too. If you can get to the dumpster and line them up in the back. But 
go ahead and ask them if they've got any. A lot of your nurseries will be more than happy to give them to you. And when you're driving around, keep an eye on trash day because I've seen people throw these out and leave them by the trash cans as well because they don't want them. So that's it. Now I'm just going to start watering this. I am going to push the wood chips back. The soil wood chips, if you had soil, just push soil, everything back. So now when it gets watered, this pot, it's going to water the ground. I could plant around the pot as well. That soil around that pot is going to become really rich because of the compost in there. But that stuff I put in there, all that, that you know, once that kitchen scraps break down, it's going to be so rich. It will last you. It should, it should last me all summer. I shouldn't have to do anything else. I do like once in a while, I go into my garden and I'll grab a leaf, you know, let's say from the kale. And what I do a lot of times, just shove it in. And just add and, and you know just add it in as a food and that's it so try it you know it's cheap it's free to do it this way and that works really good so it's like a raised bed and I'll have control over that because if something I thought might get in there to eat my seeds I can cover the top I can put a wire basket on top like the basket I had to put here because the rabbits were eating it see you can get those trash cans at dollar stores. You can get them at any store and they're really cheap. And I sometimes pick them up at the thrift store, even better ones than that. So it's just a thought, but I'm gonna get some zucchini in there. I'll come back and do an update and I'm going back to work. A quick update, it's only been less than a week. Just wanted to show you that the zucchini seed that I put in there is growing great. And hopefully the earthworms will continue to come. It's just so easy to do it this way. But I put a wire basket over it. I had this piece of metal. I don't even know what it's from, but it's holding the basket. And hopefully the rabbit won't tip it over and try to munch on the leaves anymore. So everybody have a wonderful day. I love the sun. I love that it's warm. And it makes me feel good. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.